Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to Brotato in honor of my birthday and just watching Nobi Old, we're gonna play the old character. <laughs> um I did try the old man with a wrench build, which was pretty fun. What about old man with the shotgun? That's like classic. Very um uh Clint Eastwood sort of thing. Um So I feel like this should be an easy win now that um, I can dodge the ult or do dodge the final boss. I know that's why I lost last time. Oh, I specifically remember with this character. Not too. I I don't want to keep rerolling, so we're gonna take attack speed. Um. So the negatives here are movement speed and 10% enemies. I don't think map size. Being lower matters all that much. I kind of just want to roll for shotguns. Um, I'll lock a plant and a coffee, honestly. Yeah, we're just going to jam six shotguns and see how that works. Especially on the small map. I feel like it's going to clear everything. This is a pretty uh, solid plan, I would say. Not a little less materials and like take luck first. Always over harvesting, in my opinion. Although I do start with 10 harvesting, so I don't know. I'll roll once to see if we can get lucky and get another luck. Um. If we do this, we're guaranteed two weapons when we roll, so we get shotgun. And... Shotgun. Learned that from a retromation video. Um, I want to get six shotguns as soon as possible, let me buy the other stuff. Start of locking those two things is right either since I think I'd rather have like a, a lucky duck or something at this point. I don't remember what's called lost duck. It's, it's lucky duck. He gives you luck. Um, we'll absolutely take a tree. I'll just take two armor. I'm not going to be that greedy. That's nice. Um, um, yeah, let's just go for it. Oh no, okay. It's no longer that. So now we'll just take those and roll. Roll one more time. We didn't get to six, but that's okay. Attack speed's pretty solid on shotgun. Um, oh, wait, what? What was that? Was there like multiple enemies in that spot or something? I'm very confused right now. There might have been a patch or something, I just didn't notice. I, I didn't actually look before I booted up the game today, so... We'll see. Uh, I don't think we're taking a baby elephant. And luck is too good to skip at this point. Also, range doesn't matter. Coffee's very good. At some point, we are going to have to take uh, defense of some kind. We'll probably just take a metal. Speed is actually very good because um, one of the old man's things is enemies are 25% slower, so you being that much faster than the enemy means it's pretty easy to get away. Even if the map is small. Materials. I do think going heavy crit is probably the best way to play the game. Um, given I meant to combine and make a blue one, that was a mistake. 
but it's okay. <laughs> Plasma sledgehammer on six. I mean, we're not doing that right now, but soon, soon. Um, yeah, I haven't done the math on whether going to purple or two blues is better. I assume two blues is better, just attack speed and whatnot. Maybe more shots, but it doesn't matter. It's wave six. That's that loot goblin. It does get a little bit harder to dodge, I think, with um, the tiny map, because there's so many projectiles going on. 16 harvesting on wave 6 is going to net us... I don't know. Probably more than an armor at this point. Wow, 9% dodge is good. Just for value sake alone. Um, 10% crit chance. 10% crit chance. Huh. Yeah, probably. We can afford it right now. I really want to try just taking the best options available. And then, um... And roll in this left as little as possible. I think I rolled a little too much. I'm just trying to improve my play of the game. I think I'm maybe a little on the greedy side. But that's part of the fun of it, right? Plus, if getting trophies now, or getting uh, crit now opens up a uh, trophy, uh, hunting trophy as a, an item, which is probably like the best item in the game or something like that. Our Retromation's hoodie, one of those two things. Uh, I'm still in the business of getting luck up to about 50. Uh, Ritual's kind of good. Like, it just does everything. Lens is also good. I think Scared Sauce is just kind of good too but we don't really need it. Boxing Glove's kind of funny. Like, funny enough, I think we're going to take it. Yeah, I... I it seems to be fine. And the damage is still kind of low, you can tell because the, the guys aren't dying very fast. But I don't even think we've added range damage, right? We have one. That's not... Not exactly inspiring by this point. Wave 8. It's alright, let's just shred everything in wave 9. Pretty handily, I suspect. Also, we're fairly healthy because that one, that one level up where we got 12 HP, it's pretty strong. We're definitely weak, though. Definitely way under damaged. Laser turret? I'll just take it. That's a lot. Ooh. Do we take attack speed here? Or do we take damage? I think we take attack speed actually oh wow um we take this and we take this and we take this and we get another another shotgun okay well our damage went up a lot that that time The laser turret's interesting, right? Because it does do damage, like... And it pierces, so it's like... Uh, that little bit extra. Is it worth taking? I mean... What, it's like 17... 
seventeen dollars if we sell it. So kind of nothing. Probably throw that away in a reroll, honestly, if I had it. So be happy with the extra damage and group one. Don't think about it too much. I wonder what item old unlocks. It's gonna be interesting. Something that reduces your vision range or something. Interesting. Obviously that doesn't exist because of the way the mechanics of the game are. But um so we underperformed on that wave. I would say. Um Metal detector is probably worth it. Doesn't mean I'm gonna buy more um, turrets or anything. It's just wow. Wait, wait, wait. We should buy bag first. The bowler hat. The bowler hat. I don't think we're in the business of that just yet. Could take a warrior helmet. Who does not take a warrior helmet too? Just save. So taking the bag over the shotgun is obviously not as strong, but assuming we get two crates here, it gives us 40 more dollars over the course of the run. Uh, someone mentioned that comment in one of the other videos about how should probably just auto pick it and I agree I agree up to like four I don't know 15 or something at least because of how many crates you're gonna pick up especially since luck is such a good stat um, that it just pays for itself like it already paid for itself um how often are we standing still I don't ever want to be standing still Ally is great I like HP regen as a stat. We will take the extra shotgun. Some range damage would be good at this point. I'm not going to take the bunny. We are going to take a sad tomato. It makes me feel safe. We don't take alien baby ever. That is a hard rule I have. I'll say that every time he comes up. Um, head injury into ritual. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good shot. What is exploding that's shooting out all of the orbs in every direction? Um, Maybe they're just firing at the same time that I'm um, deleting them. I think that's what it is, because one just fired out three and the other one four, so I think um, they're just firing right before. Yeah, they, sh they fire three when they explode. Okay. I have solved the mystery. Um... Apparently shotguns work really well with old. Things can't really get close. Our economy is really bad. Uh, ugly dude seems pretty good here, actually. Um, more HP regen. I mean, yeah, take another shotgun. I'm not gonna say no. Pull one more time. Um. We don't really need consumables, so we can take Alien Worm here. We're at just 1.75 HP regen a second. 
When you get to two, where I feel comfortable towards the end and some more HP, but I assume I'm gonna pick up at least one leather vest in the near future. And then uh I'll kinda feel safe. Kinda how my runs have gone lately on this difficulty. I think I've played it enough now to where I'm very confident that I should win every single one of these runs with any character that's like normal. Uh, I don't know about the ones that like you can't equip weapons, you just like run into people and get hit. We'll, we'll figure that out in, a, in the future, but give me some number of guns and I'll make it work. It just used to be very frustrating when I couldn't if I got that last boss, I couldn't progress. Um, yeah, we'll probably take that and then just take the dodge to negate it. Our damage still sucks. Um, that's still a problem, but I want to like, take Broken Mouth, but I don't think we want to do that. Um, Tyler's interesting. We only have one engineering, so it's not really not interesting. Oh, okay. Well, that was exactly what we needed. We're just gonna save and have a lot next round. Still haven't seen the leather vest, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, not um problem. Things are dying fast enough. That's your real concern, I think, with this character, is if your damage is too low, you get swarmed, and there's no place to move, because the map's so small. I mean, sure, you could jiggle like this, just back and forth, and mostly be okay, but if you're not If you're not like balanced in either damage or defense, if you're just sticking to one or the other, you're probably gonna have a problem. Or maybe not, I don't know. Um, sure. Okay. Take another shotgun. I like Weird Ghost. Uh, I don't really want it right now. Plus 5% enemies. I think that just increases our chance of losing. It could make us stronger, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll take a scope. I'll also take a propeller hat. Probably should have saved um, alien magic, too. Like 100% should have saved it. I wasn't really paying attention. I just, <laughs> I just clicked through it as I saw it. I just noticed it was something we couldn't buy, so I didn't really think about it very irresponsible of me. That's alright. That's alright. We'll, we'll survive. Probably. And if we don't, it's just, that's just another video. Or more content. Or <laughs> a longer video, I should say. Once we start getting to difficulty 5 runs, that's when they start splitting up the videos or they get a little bit longer. Or I'm just gonna beat every run. I don't know. I have some confidence in myself. We're not getting much money though. Don't like it. Uh, sure, I'll take HP. I'll take lifesteal. I think it's gonna be easier to get the range damage. There's that leather vest I wanted so bad. Um, power generator is just minus 6%. Oh no, minus 16% damage. So we're gonna. We're gonna not take that. Uh, we are gonna take Baby with a Beard, and it's gonna, like, just destroy everything. Shotgun is, um, pretty effective, huh?
not uh, not too much thought into where I have to be positioning wise. It just kind of makes everything disappear on the screen. Make sure I don't get hit by the by the range attacks. I'm good. Boop, boop, boop. My friend bought me uh, a bounty of one. So at some point I'll be doing some videos for that. You know what? I'll take a free one. Oh, I'll stick sunglasses. Yeah, it's like a it's like a more Western themed bullet heaven, but it's more uh much closer to Vampire Survivors than this. This is this game kind of feels like its own thing. Um poisonous tonic. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a butterfly later. Yeah, we got some we got some damage now. Baby with the beard is a is an item. It is an item in the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else there is to say about it. It's kind of ridiculous. Mostly because range doesn't matter. Such an odd stat. If it like reduced your damage or something, it'd be more interesting, but it seems like if you just if you're taking range damage, you just auto pick baby with the beard and you're having a good time. Like everything's just disappearing now. Um I think I think we actually want max HP right here. Explosive turret, huh? No. No, I think not. Um, it's kinda late for a ring. Take armor, take HP regen. Take another gun. Definitely take a blood leech. At this point. Oh, these guys are getting melted. I think we're killing the boss too. Probably something I should have thought about on way 14, but the amount of point blank damage we do is kind of absurd, I think. Not like, not absurd in the sense of, wow, I'm doing so much damage, but just like for how split my build is right now. I do quite a lot for investing very little. Like, very, very little. Should probably pick up some money, though. Jeez. Making anything. Yeah, I have eight range damage is all. Um. 10% attack speed? Nah. Nah. Yep. Lock that other vest in. More attack speed would definitely be good though. There's still quite a delay on our on our attacks at less than two attacks per second on each weapon. It's not mattering because each attack is like each volley is kind of clearing everything in front of us. But I think the biggest DPS buff we can get at the moment is um, attack speed. I'm a surprised crit damage isn't stat in this game, but I guess every game I've ever played where crit damage is a stat, it ends up being like. The most important stat, you get 100% crit, then you get as much crit damage as you can, and you just walk through the game like it's nothing. 
Uh, yeah, that's kind of what we wanted. Hey. Thanks for the legendary. Um... I think we're supposed to take Bandana. No, oh, but we already have Piercing 3. We don't really need that. I think we're supposed to take Poisonous Tonic. <laughs> or, um, some more attack speed. Now we're at almost two attacks per second on our legendary shotguns. It also gave us a bit more crit. Let's take a look. We're at 40% chance. That's not too bad. I didn't do a question of the day. Oh. Oh, my, my old age. Um. Well. Well. Question of the day, if you're still watching the video to this point, um, what other games would you like to see me commentate over? I tend to like loving these bullet heaven style games and strategy games, just like the spire types, tactics games and whatnot. Especially when I'm commentating, I like to be able to take my time thinking, why is that a thing? Okay, yeah, I'll take it. That did something for us stats-wise? I don't know. Potato thrower. Um, we attack slower and lower crit, but we get... We got so much more damage, it doesn't even matter. Hmm... I guess this is an improvement. Can't buy either of those. Range is still at 29. We don't really need any range. Take speed. But if we reroll, we have a chance to buy something good still with like that. So we ended up better than we thought we would. Hey, it's this guy. This one is now the harder one. Uh, He's just going to die. He just... Why did his... Oh, it didn't change. He just changed. I'm losing my mind. Well, he he got shredded. Snail. Enemy speed, 10%. Negative 10%, and I get 5% negative speed. That's not bad. It's kind of fitting with the character. I like it. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty easy run. Uh, do recommend Shotgun Old Man. I think next time we'll be doing Lucky. Oh yeah, right, because our Lucky run had the disaster at the end. Yeah, that'll be an easy one. We could almost do difficulty five with him, I think, but. Oh well, next time. Anyway, everyone have a great day. Um, I'm Jeff. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you like it. See y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.